The raids at the Rockdale home of Shaket Mosulmain began at dawn, conducted by the Countering Foreign Interference Task Force. It's dreadfully concerning. It's, it's terrible. His older brother says the allegations are lies and the Labor MP is the victim of a racist attack. They want to uh, use him as a uh, scapegoat for something. Who do you think behind it then? Behind it, the Zionist and the racism in Australia. The Upper House members' offices at State Parliament were also searched. He's been suspended from the ALP. It's the right thing to do. Uh, he will no longer sit in the caucus. Uh, he will no longer uh, be uh, a Labor Party member. Labor is also looking into whether a staffer is also a person of interest in the investigation. The Prime Minister says he was briefed last night and says the allegations are extremely serious. We won't cop anyone coming and seeking to interfere in our political system. Government ministers quickly lined up to call for Mr Mosselman's immediate expulsion. This appears to be a pattern of behaviour when it comes to the New South Wales Labor Party. There's too much smoke here, you know, and I, I just think it's, it's ultimately really incumbent upon Jodie McKay to, to step up. Shaket Mosselmain was recently forced to resign as Assistant President of the Legislative Council after repeatedly praising China's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, can I just say that the Chinese government should be commended for the immediate action that it took? No one's yet been charged under the new countering foreign interference legislation. The ABC's been told national security organisations have been chomping at the bit to get a few scalps. Shaket Mosselmain's also drawn the ire of his fellow party members. One source saying goodbye and good riddance to a menace. Uh, he's a pro-Labour Party. Uh, Labour Party in his heart for years and years. He got nothing to do with the Communist Party of China. He got nothing to do with uh, China at all. The ABC's been told further investigations are likely, possibly in Victoria. Shaket Mosselmain has not yet responded to requests for comment. Antoinette Collins, ABC News, Sydney.